Okay, uh, so this is a, a problem solving session. Um, we're going to do problem 413 uh, from that book. Um, so a, a string between 0 and L, it is taut with a tension, tension T, and mass per unit length uh, mass density is mu. So mu is mass over length. Okay, so <clears throat> um, at t equal to zero, at t equal to zero, you uh, you hit it from the bottom at this point and this gets a velocity v0. Everywhere velocity is zero. So that's what I mean by up. <coughs> okay, so um, if you write down what the initial condition is, so initially you have a shape is uh, y is zero everywhere and velocity is, uh, you can write it like that. Um, or you can use a, a function called a Dirac delta function. So this is a, this is a Dirac delta function. So some of you may not have uh, encountered this. So this uh, this is a function which is a, a kind of a strange kind of function. So it's a function of x. Uh, here, so if you say x minus say a, so what does it do? Well, it actually is a can be defined through density of functions. Uh, one way to define this is if I uh, take another function f of x and multiply. So th this is over which I'm going to do the integration. So if I integrate, and if a is included in here, so some range I go b to c, so b is uh, less than a, less than c, so a is in the range of integrating, then I will find the answer will be, answer will be just the value of f at that point, that point. So just the value of f of a. So it's it, this another way to write uh, some something which has a continuous variable. So b is a continuous function x, uh, which has value only at one point. Definitely, it's discontinuous in a big way here. Uh, so discontinuous a big way here is hard to get a derivative and things like that. This is this is a you can say it's a, not very analytic, uh, analytically feasible. We'll, we'll do this uh, a little bit differently um, at the end after we're done doing the problem as stated in that book. Uh, we, we will, um, alternately, we're going to look at uh, uh, this as a alternate uh, view uh, coming next. So right now I don't want to distract ourselves. So suppose I knew this, uh, how would I do solve this problem? Well, uh, we uh, when we are going to do A first, and maybe if we have time, we will do B. But uh, let's see if how do we find y of x of t? Well, you probably know uh, that uh, uh, we. Um, we can express express uh, y in terms of uh, uh, no, normal modes of of this system. So recall um, normal modes phi n of x um, of a string of length L 
fixed at both ends right so let's recall that so those are phi n of x is uh, I'm normalized it so this is a 1 over square root of L sine k n x and k n uh, <clears throat> uh, k n is n pi over L with n equals to 1 2 3 and the frequencies um, frequencies that go with this frequencies are v times kn and v is the square root of t over mu so th this is we know okay <clears throat> so y uh, y of x0 if we write that as uh, some kind of bn phi n n equal to 1 to infinity so if I can figure out what the bn's are yeah so if, suppose I've somehow figured what the bn's are okay then y of x and t will use exactly the same set of bn's and same set of phi n except that cosine omega n t plus uh, let's write down this like a uh, some some a cosine omega n t plus uh, we'll call c sine omega n t rather than phase I'm going to write it using sine and cosine so that will be the answer and we can figure out what the a's and c's are from the given initial from the given initial condition so this will be the same ends <coughs> okay so uh, that means we will have v x t profile will be just take a derivative of this and so it will be v n phi n x and when take a derivative of this kind of minus omega n a sine omega n t plus c will be uh, uh, omega n c cosine omega n t so there we have it we have uh, this is y and this will be this and so somehow we need to figure out what the b's are and once we get the b's we uh, we can and b's and this constants a and c's and then we'll be done okay so what we did before is we had a some shape given here uh, which was not all zeros if it's all zeros it doesn't really go anywhere right uh, <clears throat> That, was, that look like everything, all the b's are zero, but it has to also satisfy the velocity. So we are, we are going to uh, see uh, how to satisfy both of these conditions, okay, in the next uh, page. All right, so let's look at it uh, with uh, satisfying uh, y x zero is n equals to 1 to infinity bn phi n x uh, then we have a um, times 1 plus c times 0 this equal to 0 that means uh, that means a is equal to 0 so this this equal to zero, this equal to zero means a equal to zero. So now y of x t is not the full thing, n equals one to infinity. And so I have a zero 
So, uh, so this thing is not there, which means C times Bn, and Bn is already not known, so I can absorb C into Bn. So we have, we, we just write down Bn, phi n of x, sine omega nt. So now we, uh, we settled C equals to 1, absorbed, uh, C absorbed, in Bn. Okay. <coughs> so, so one one satisfied. Let's do the um, velocity. So v x t uh, equal to zero will be um, take a velocity. So as I have n equals to one to infinity omega n b n phi n x uh, cosine omega n t t equal to 0, that makes it 1, and that should equal to the v x 0, this is the one given profile. So we can write that equal to uh, v 0 l delta x minus l over 2. So th this gives an equation that we can work with. Let's see what uh, uh, in isolation it looks like. So the problem now becomes n equals 1 to infinity. Omega n is known, right? Uh, omega n is known because kn is that, so omega n is known. Uh, so omega n is okay, uh, bn, that's the only thing I need to know, and phi n of x. So uh, v0l delta x minus l over 2. So, so the question is, um, this becomes how to get Bn here. So that, that is the uh, main question we need to address. Uh, we, we know about these guys. Uh, these guys, we, if you didn't know it, now I'm telling you, these guys are delta x minus a and some fx dx and you integrate so is a is uh, in the range uh, okay so maybe a minus epsilon to a plus epsilon so a is included in the range is f of a so knowing this fact about delta function uh, we need to be able to do this so you know uh, the uh, trick involved with this guy uh, the summation, how do I get the terms here? These are also, also normalized functions with respect to integration 0 to 0 to 2L. So say I do it uh, multiplied by phi m both sides. So n equals 1 to infinity omega n bn and phi n of x. So this is, then I'm going to multiply a phi m, a particular is I'm not summing over it, it's just some 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 particular particular n, okay? And I integrate from zero to two L. Well integration will kind of come inside here and you'll have integration over these guys on the left side. <clears throat> On the right side, it's going to be the same kind of stuff, v0l, 0 to 2l, uh, phi mx, delta x minus l over 2 dx. Okay, so the, this integral looks like that better. This integral, when I do it out, is a 0 if n is not equal to m is 1 if n equals to m. So when you sum over this, the only term after integration should be, say, say, say m was 5, what are you going to get? You're going to get summation is going to be n equals to 1 to infinity omega n b n uh, 0 if n is not 5, 1 if 
n equals to 5. So th this will mean omega 5 b5. And the same for all the other terms. So the left side, so left side I'm going to get uh, omega m, that particular one, particular one, and bm. So that's all I'm going to get left side. On, on the right side, uh, L over 2 is inside this range. So I'm going to get this guy's value at that point. V0 L phi M x equals to L over 2. Well, phi M's, phi M is 1 over square root of L sine m pi x over l so phi m l over 2 is this is l over 2 so one is called l sine m pi over 2 so the bm so this this just means bm bm equals to v0 l over omega m 1 over square root of l sine m pi over 2. So if I, <coughs> the only thing we need to find was this bn's here, remember? So bn's here. Once we got the bn's, uh, I am done, right? So if I take this bn's well, as a procedure over here, satisfying that, let me to this bm, I go back and write that bm here, and that's everything is determined in there so this is the solution so let me write that down so what we found for a is at all other times this can be the profile n equals to 1 to infinity v0 square root l over omega n because I'm using uh, n so the omega n sine n pi over 2 so that's the co constant and then I have a, a phi n of x sine omega n t well I could uh, this this one is 1 by square root of l sine k n x and so this square root of l should cancel that square root of l and so I, w I would have just n equals to 1 to infinity v0 over omega n sine n pi over 2 sine k n x sine omega n t. Okay. Uh, you may do m more than that because uh, you can see when different values of n uh, what these are. So these these will be if I have one, two, three, four, five. When it's one, this is one. When it's two is zero. <coughs> when it's three, it's minus one. Then this is zero. This is one minus one. Oh. 1, 0, and minus 1. You can see, you can uh, definitely uh, write a formula for this. Uh, so, I'll just leave it as such. So, that's the answer for A. Now, you see, every term here for B, I notice that every term here has a freq uh, frequency, um, so it, it comes back in time through this. So, so like term one, term one. Uh, if I if I look at this thing, is it has a v zero over omega one sine pi over two sine k one x sine omega one t. Then we have a v0 over omega 3 sine 3 pi over 2 sine k 3x sine omega 3t, which is 3 times omega 1. 
so on and so forth. So each term repeats uh, at uh, repeats uh, at with time t1 is 2 pi over omega 1 and this repeats with time t3 is 2 pi over omega 3 is 2 pi over 3 omega 1 so this rip for every time for this much time it repeats this guy repeats three times so this is the slowest so this term is the slowest uh, so I, when I shrink it further, I go it bigger. So eventually, you can see it's going to, this point is going to be the mac, just the infinitely high. So, so th this will be um, uh, another way to handle this uh, uh, impulse at this point. Uh, so our function looks like this. Okay, so so our v of x0 now gonna look very simple it's gonna be 0 between uh, 0 x l, min l minus a over 2 and it's gonna be v0 l over a between l minus a over 2 x l plus a over 2 and 0 L plus A over 2 X L okay so this 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 is the profile and we already uh, have come to uh, you know more ag arguments earlier uh, that led us to uh, led us to uh, V uh, V being C 
simply be uh, b x zero being equal to n equals to one to infinity omega n b n v n x. Okay, so this is from from um, from uh, earlier in the lecture. So so we had satisfying us uh, it led to that uh, y x zero y x t using this and then we had a this so and the question was find find b n we found found using delta Dirac delta so here we're gonna use this to find well <clears throat> you can see is the same trick so omega n omega m bm the particular one will simply be equal to integrate this guy from 0 to 2l bx 0 phi m x dx that's what it's going to turn out this series will turn out like that now we have a very simple function to integrate so it's going to be um, l minus a over 2 to l plus a over 2 v 0 l over a 1 by square to l sine m pi x over l dx so when I integrate this I you can see that this is going to be minus v0 square of l over a times l over m pi and then I will have cosine m pi over l times l plus a over 2 minus cosine m pi over l l minus a over 2 kind of this is a, uh, a lot of things here we, we can call this guy a and call this guy b so this is cosine a minus cosine b which can be written is as a 2 min, minus 2 sine a plus b over 2 sine a minus b over 2 uh, you can google uh, cosine identities and you'll find some website where this, this will show this to you otherwise you can prove it from backward from the start expand this guy and you can go, go there okay <clears throat> so I I will have a plus b over 2 uh, m pi over l is common and 2l is common so this just becomes 2l uh, is is a So I add divide by two and then then m pi and there's there's a two there so two l over two and so it's gonna be m pi over two. When I say a minus b over two I have a m pi over two l 2a over 2 uh, and that's uh, that's going to be m pi over 2a over l all right so so this turns out to be m minus v0 l uh, l over a times m pi times that minus 2 uh, times sine a plus b over 2 m pi over 2 
okay um the last video was a bit too long uh and cut me off at some point and i played it again i think this is where it cut off I was trying to write this and well so what i'm writing there is um i'm trying to use this co this cosine a minus cosine b i want to write in in terms of product to science and then I was trying to copy this over here and got video got cut off. So the next rule B is like that. So sine A plus B over 2, I sine A minus B over 2. Now if I take, uh, if you remember, I'm thinking to only have velocity at this point L over 2. But I I had um, simulated that as a take a small range um, A and take a go to zero but then this peak will start to go up okay so that's why i have a v0 l over a you say you might say why didn't i just write v0 well if you write just v0 then uh you can't take this uh um limit uh properly anyway so i <clears throat> Uh, you need a two lengthy scales to balance out one you keep it fixed and the one you're gonna vary all right so I, I think the video is getting uh, a little bit uh, okay now in focus so when I go in there it's just out of focus actually all right so when you take a go to zero limit you have uh, these and then you want if you compare this bm with the previous bm it's the same bm so i'm going to stop it here uh,